Hey everyone, so I've been going through my lipstick collection because I've come to the realization that I have a horrible habit of picking up lipsticks from the drugstore, trying them out, and then kind of pushing them to the side of my collection. But there are quite a few who have stuck by me for the long haul, and those are the ones I want to share with you to give you some ideas for the next time you go out shopping or just some recommendations for great lipsticks to buy. And in this video, I'm just going to focus on those neutral nude colors that will work with any outfit or makeup look. And I'm just going to go ahead and start. So the first one is a NYX round lipstick. And I really don't care for this particular formula. While the lipstick is very pigmented and opaque, the longevity of it is not quite there. But I love this color and it's one of the first lipsticks I did buy. And this is in the shade Pumpkin Pie. And it is a nude color. It's just got the right undertones of pinks and oranges to make it work well with people who have naturally pigmented lips. So this is what it looks like. And you're going to see on my arm that I have been playing around with some of these lipsticks just to really narrow the selection down. But this is pumpkin pie right here. And I'll also swatch it on my lips. And I really love this color. I hope to one day find its dupe in a brand that I do care for, like Rimmel. And I know that NYX has the black label lipsticks and the matte lipsticks. I've only tried the round lipsticks, so I can't really say much about their other, brand, or other products, but I like this color, so there's that. Okay, this next one can also be found at Ulta, and it's from the Essence brand. And this is in the color Creamy Nude, and I guess the number there is shade 50. And it's just a nice, everyday, natural color. I love wearing it with a smoky look. And the formula for this lipstick is amazing. I definitely want to try some more. It just glides on so easily, but this is what it looks like on my lips. It's very easy to wear, which is one of the things I love about it the most. This is an old lipstick of mine, and this is from Wet n Wild. I believe it's the Mega Shield line. And this is in the shade 902C. And it is broken and falling apart, but I still wear it just because it works so well. So this is what it looks like. And... And this is a darker nude, but I really do like this color. And while it's different from all my other lipsticks, it's the one I reach for when I'm really looking for that nude look. And another one that I have to throw in here, even though I just got it, is the Wet n Wild Fergie line. And this is in Bebop Love. And it's absolutely amazing. I love this neutral color. Even though I keep nicking it on the cap, which is so frustrating, but... I do really like it. And it's really surprising how creamy these lipsticks are and how easily they glide on. So here's a swatch next to the other one which is 902C. And this is obviously a bit more pinkier where this is more of a brown color. But I love how deep it is but neutral at the same time if that makes sense. So I do really like this, and I want to check out the one they have in Fergie Daily, because I feel like that would work for me very well. So there's that. The rest of the lipsticks I have are from Rimmel, and they are the Lasting Finish brand, just because these are my favorites, so I tend to pick up more of them. And this next one is in the shade 14, and this is by the Kate Moss collection. So here is a swatch of it. And it's a mauve neutral color. No. So this is very similar to Bebop Love, which kind of explains why I like that one so much, because I do wear this on a daily basis. Uh, Bebop Love looks a bit darker, but on the lips, I can't really tell much of a difference. This next one is a... <clears throat> This is 050. This is the shade Paradise, and it's just the regular elastic finish line. Uh, 
And I don't know if you guys are seeing a pattern here, but... <laughs> So this is a dark mauve color. It's absolutely beautiful though. I love to wear it. I would wear it with something like this where it goes really well with browns. So the last one is very similar to Paradise. And this is in the shade 08 and it's also a Kate Moss lipstick. And it's got the mauve neutral color. It is just a bit more pink. I don't know if you can tell in that swatch but it is a bit more pink. And here it is. And this would also go good with the brown smoky eye. Or really any smoky eye for that matter. So those are all my lipstick recommendations. They're the ones that stay at the front of my collection. I pick them up, put them on, put them back down. And the next day I'm picking them right back up again. Because I wear them on a daily basis. So, as always, please feel free to comment down below with any suggestions or recommendations of your own. Chances are I will at least Google the swatch and maybe even go out and buy it, which probably isn't a good thing. But, like this video if you like this video, or subscribe if you want to see other ones from me. I also have a ton of pinks and reds that I could do a video on if you're interested. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!